guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and if you are new here, we are back with a new year. I know it's February and I do apologize. But we're back with new makeup in Australia videos. It's kind of new, new beauty in Australia now because I am doubling into skincare. Anything that seems interesting, I talk about fragrance. So I might even change the title of this of to new beauty in Australia because we are a little bit more inclusive now. So if you haven't watched this before, I basically go through, we have a little hangout. We go through all the Australian focused websites for beauty. So Priceline, Mecca, Glam Raider, Adore Beauty, and then we have a look it over on Trendmute on Instagram to see what we think might be coming. So we have a discussion about what we, what I think is going to be exciting, um, what is here now, easy to shop, and what we think will be coming. Um, but let's get into it. So I always start with Priceline. And I'm just going to quickly premise, I, the only reason I don't talk about Chemist Warehouse is their website does not have a new section. So it's very difficult for me to figure out what is new. Like there's just no way of knowing. So that's the only reason I don't talk about it. I love Chemist Warehouse. Always have, always will. Um, but that's why we talk about Priceline specifically because they have a new section. Kind Cosmetics have added a blush bronzer, which looks pretty cute actually. It's the three for 10 range. You know how they have their individual price range and then they have a three for 10. Um, this is part of the three for 10. So it's $5 individually or three products in one of the three for 10 products for $10. This is, I bought this. I think I had it in my haul video, but it's the All Saints Discovery set. Uh, they are 10 mil gift set. No, I think it's 15 mil. Okay, so they've written the wrong thing in the title. It's not 10 mil. They're 15 mils each of the All Saints and I bought it because I wanted to smell the Concrete Rain, the newest one. But turns out the Flora Mortis and the Sunset Riot were my favorite. The Concrete Rain was nice, but it was almost a little bit too light. Um, but I got this at an entry discount for $40. It's now $60, still really good value. Rimmel has this interesting lip situation. Also, I've got a new background. It's not intentional, but my husband bought a new turquoise background for his photography and I love it. So I use, I'm using it. I'll have to uh, encourage him to buy more colors so I can have different color backgrounds. <laughs> oh, I'm actually keen to try this brand, the Hey Bud range. I think it's all hemp inspired, or hemp, not inspired, hemp ingredients in their skincare. This is a starter pack, four piece for $79. 99. Eco Tools has a few new tools. We have the flawless we have the flawless coverage brush for $27.99. Flawless blend brush for the same price. Oh, I want to try this. The Bondi Sands new gradual tanning lotion, tinted skin perfecter. So I loved their um, tanning milk. I actually really liked it. I liked how light it was on the skin. It didn't feel like a heavy moisturizer. It was like a lo it was a lotion. And they've discontinued that and they replaced it with this instant bronzed glow for all skin tones i don't know about that um nourishing body moisturizer contains bronzing pigments for instant flawless skin and can be used daily to build a gradual tan so it's instant and gradual so i think it's dual it's very interesting because that's something i like i love a gradual tanning product i find it much easier than doing a full skincare routine uh, a full like exfoliating moisturizing routine two days before then tanning I find it quite overwhelming um, but gradual tan I find really easy so I'd be interested to try that actually models prefer has a loose brow powder let's have a look at this it's $16 is it one shade three shades light medium and dark Ultra soft, lightweight brow powder, perfect to fill and define brows and line in the, line the eyes. Oh, I mentioned this before, but I actually bought it because it's still new. The Glycolic Bright Glowing Daily Cleanser Foam. I haven't used it yet, but I want to. Maybe I'll use it tonight because it's glycolic, so it's not something I would use every single night, uh, but... I really want to try it because I am sweaty and I am oily. It is so humid. Um, I've actually just stopped sweating for this video. Thank you. Uh, but before this, I was schwitzing. Um, oh, we've also got the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 Serum. So they always had this in the, bar, in the balm, I think. Now they have it in a serum form. 
it's doing that thing again with the website where it keeps loading the same thing every time it happens every time okay as a brow lamination kit for forty dollars are they look good wonder if they'd ever go on sale because that'd be cool because it's an actual lamination kit elf has the lash it loud mascara I was just looking at Elf's website because they were having a sale and I think they're having a sale because I have a feeling because Katie Cosmopolitan, I will link her down below, she um, messaged Elf and they said that the Glow, the Charlotte Tilbury dupe is coming in February. So I reckon they have a big old sale before they launch that and I'm going to be right on it. I'm going to be right on it. So. Make sure you keep a close eye on Elf Instagram or their emails because it's coming. Revolution has the Disney Minnie Mouse collection. So there is a lip gloss, a brush set, highlighter blush, doesn't even say. Um, blush? I don't even know what that is. Uh, lashes, liquid eye, eye, eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, that's it. It's very cute, but. It's not really my cup of tea. My daughter loves Minnie Mouse. She's got Minnie Mouse pajamas. She loves um, Minnie Mouse um, bow, tune, bow tunes on Disney. Minnie's boo boutique. Minnie's boutique. The contour cube is at Priceline. That went viral on TikTok. Holy moly, I didn't know that. They go for $30 each. Interesting. They like were hard to get because they just kept selling out. Thirty dollars each, and what you do, it's like a mold for ice. You can kind of see, and then you take the top off and you use it on your face. It's good for calming, stressed skin, inflammation, things like that. And it's been very popular. Interesting. The Ordinary has a multi peptide eye serum for thirty nine fifty. And speaking of peptide, I think peptide is the latest thing because Olay has a luminous niacinamide honey peptide super serum. And also the same thing in a moisturizer. Oh, I like that half price, $30. That's nice. Honey is so good. If there is actual uh, a good percentage of honey in this and propolis as well. If you see something with propolis, it's very good for your skin because it's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It's really, really good. It's a natural, exfol a natural exfoliant. Don't quote me on that part, um, but it is very good. Oh, there's got more from the glycolic range from L'Oreal. The, we've got the glycolic bright glowy night cream and the day cream for $50 each. And then a serum as well. I have two bits of feedback for Priceline. I wouldn't know who to tell though. It's your website needs so much improvement because your new arrivals is not actually new arrivals. You've got your new arrivals if you go to each category of makeup, skincare, fragrance, all of that. And then the second tip feedback is to bring Ulta 3 to Priceline. It's a great brand, it's Australian, and I think it'd do well at Priceline. And that's all I'm gonna talk about, that's it. From Priceline, thank you. Next we're gonna, next we're gonna talk about Mecca, and they've just had a drop, so I think we're gonna be talking about a lot, if I'm honest. And cause I have not been talking about it for like what, six weeks so we've got a lot to talk about i'm not going to talk about everything we're going to talk about what i think is most exciting i can already tell you i'm very excited about certain things westman atelier vital skincare complexion drops i have not heard amazing things so i won't be getting it it is a hundred dollars and there's 20 shades very light 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 coverage what else have we got? Uh, Mecca Cosmetica has a niacinamide serum. I use their vitamin C serum with niacinamide in it and I quite like it. Oh, oh my God. Okay, this I have smelt. Uh, Mason Margiela On A Date is their new fragrance. I've got so much to tell you. I've smelt it because we had a tester in store that I smelt first and um, I definitely want it. I totally want it. I love it. It's made by the nose or the perfumer who made this uh, is my favorite perfumer. Carlos Benaim, Benaim, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. He makes music for a while from Frederick Mal, which is my all time favorite fragrance of all time, of all time. He loves doing fruity notes, but in a sophisticated level. And that's what I love. I love fruity notes, but 
elevated, not cheap, like elevated fruity notes. Um, with like your woods in it as well, so it gives it depth. This on a date has the world's first ever wine accord. It's never been done before. So they've developed a grape wine accord, rosé and red wine, into the fragrance. It's supposed to transport you to a date in, Tus in like the Tuscan white vineyards. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a grape fruitiness to it, but it still has depth. It's still got a sensuality to it. It's beautiful. Highly recommend smelling it if you can get into a Mecca store. I think I'll be getting that at one point. I'm in no rush. I don't need it, but I will definitely will be wearing it, like trying it in store and wearing it. It's really, really nice. Um, MAC has a strobe dewy skin tint, and I believe it is a blend of their radiant skin tint with their strobe cream. So it's got not just dewiness, but luminosity, like pearlescent luminosity for $60. MAC is also doing a Valentine's Day lipstick in three different shades for $35. The packaging is beautiful. It actually looks like my swanky. I'm going to release the advertisement I've made for my swankies for Valentine's Day as like little pocket squares for your partner. Isn't it so cute? But also, it's too cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day, but it looks like this packaging. Um, and this is my brand, if you don't know. I sell reusable accessories. I know I always have the link down below, fetch bags, check it out. I really want to try, and then they've got this little mini set for $70, which is so cute. Because re realistically, we never finish physical lipsticks, like a full one, it's very hard to. Um, so these little minis are cute. I actually am contemplating buying this. This is the Costas Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray On Serum. And the reason why is because one of my favorite like essences that I had was the pink drink, was it called? The one from Sunday Riley, the pink essence. I loved the spray. I love that it was in spray form. I loved it. It was so easy and then you just pat it in. And Costas is skincare infused makeup. So they're very good with skincare but they blend it with makeup. So this here, but it looks like a pretty big bottle. So a quick and easy format you want, powered by skincare's biggest ingredient starts to replenish, rebalance, and protect signs of stress, soothing experience to help support your microbiome, no added fragrance, hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin. It's got vegan collagen, CS peptide, tripeptide, plant pro probiotic, uh, proteins, hyaluronic acid. I think it'll just be really nice serum. And I'm tempted to try it. How many, how many mils do you get? It looks like a hundred mils, but I don't actually know because it doesn't tell you, which is kind of an A. Um, this palette looks really pretty. If you're someone that doesn't like shimmery eyeshadow, just mattes. The Morphe 18WT Matte Essentials palette, $28. And I used to not really like Morphe, but I do, oh, they're still around, believe it or not, but I do like their formula now on eyeshadows. I think they've really improved. And this is a really nice all matte palette. I do like all matte palettes sometimes. Uh, Jisoo, which is the honey infused hair care, has a summer set. I use their hair oil um, and I really, really like it. It's $120 and it looks like you're going to get like the beachy wave leave-in conditioner type of products. And then Naked Sundays, which is the Australian sunscreen brand that is formulated to be sunscreen to wear under makeup. That's the whole purpose of it. Have brought out Sheer Glow Balm Sticks Trio Set for $90 and they've got SPF in the makeup. Love it. Obviously, it's a top up. It's not going to be enough for protection, but it's a nice idea that it's added. The only issue with that is um, the expiry will be shorter than regular makeup products because there is SPF in it. So to keep that in mind. I am scrolling. Allies of Skin is a new brand at Sephora. Mecca, I should say. Uh, and that is a very uh, well-known social media brand. I don't know too much about it. But I'm not going to go through every product, but what's in front of me is the Retin Retinol and Peptides Repair Night Cream for $178. So you were on the more luxury side, but I can't remember which product that made them viral, but they do have one. There are three more Morphe palettes. We have the 9C Matte Essentials Artistry Palette, $21. This is my favorite one, the 18... 
CT Matte Essentials part Palette for $28. I love those cool tones. And then the 9B Matte Essentials for $21. So lots of matte palettes. This is something I'm actually interested in. I love Rose Ink. I'm a big Rose Ink fan. They have beautiful products. I actually have not tried their blushes, which is their hero product, and I will eventually. This is the Brightening Essentials gift set. This is their skincare, and it's actually really nice. I've used their um, uh, the serum, and the under eye illuminating serum is really nice. It's the Brightening range. Uh, and I do recommend and oh, it's online only so it's $99 which is really good value unless they're mini sizes this is something I'm really excited to smell I haven't smelt it yet it's the new Frederick Mal fragrance uh, and this is uncut gem and this is from Maurice Roussel Maurice Roussel I think he did French lover he does like your more dirty raw ingredients I don't when I say dirty I mean it in like a good way I don't mean it in like a ill so this is uncompromising, bold, and filled with en enig enigmatic charm. Clear, spicy top notes of ginger, bergamot, mandarin, angelica root, and nutmeg lead you to the sensual fire within the leathery accord. See the, the deep intensity. That's what he does. Vetiver, frankincense, generous amounts of amber and musk. I don't know if I'm going to love this. Um, masculinity. It's a masculine scent. Yeah, I'm not a fan of nutmeg. I don't like nutmeg, cinnamon, those kind of scents in fragrance. It actually sets me off a bit, um, makes me feel a bit sick. You know how certain scents are too much? For me, it's jasmine and like those spices. In cooking, I love it, but in fragrance, I don't. Um, anyway, I do want to smell it. Uncut jams. I actually want to buy this. This is the Kit Soap Slab. I am a soap user because I feel guilty using body wash because it goes so quickly and it's all that plastic so I've always been a soap bar person always triple milled soap enriched with skin loving botanicals including kakadu plum herbal ap adaptogens uh, effectively cleansing and invigorating the skin with a smooth leather lemon myrtle macadamia oil love it I think I'm actually going to buy it it, it looks like it's going to be a decent size as well. Another new brand is um, Hair by Sam McKnight, which I believe he was a celebrity hairstylist. He's got all of his skincare range as well. Right, new brand. There's a few new brands in the new year. Is Face Gym. I had never heard of them before. Apparently, they are very well known on social media. I don't know. The whole fake gym for your face thing. I know, I think they're just kind of, um, it's something that already exists, like with your gua sha and using your hands and, you know, getting the lymphatic system going. I don't mind that perspective, but I don't know. It's not something that necessarily interests me. Oh, this looks beautiful. Jo Malone Rose Blush Cologne and then Red Roses Cologne. I think these are new for maybe just in time for Valentine's Day. I just love Jo Malone. I don't think their scents last forever, but I honestly don't care because I just think they're really nice and delightful scents. Sometimes you want that. Sometimes you want something nice and light. Oh yes, the Charlotte Tilbury New Highlighter in seven shades. That's pretty impressive. For $70. I'm not actually that interested. I got the Rare Beauty one. I don't wear, like highlighter for me is such a small amount of product on the face that it just takes me forever to use. So it's not something that I buy a lot of. So I am selective when I buy highlighters and I don't know. I just think the Rare Beauty one spoke to me a little bit more than this one. So I got the Rare Beauty one, obviously. Oh, Okay, I've got to go to the back to the end of the outer stock because I was wondering about this. I knew that it had come out and I couldn't see it. The Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk Eau de Parfum. So it's in the sold out section. I went looking for it. So it didn't show up. So I need to go look at that because I'm so interested for this. This was a collab with uh, B. Shapiro, Shapiro, which is the owner of Ellis Brooklyn, and Irish perfumer Meeb. McCurtain, oh sorry, two outsiders in the perfume world come together to create a vanilla fragrance as ethereal as it is addictive with two types of vanilla extracts such as a touch of florals, de delectable coca shell, rich amorous and an addictive milk accord. I'm very interested to see what this will smell like, although it's got frangipani in it, but it might be okay. Peony, milk, frangipani, cocoa, vanilla bourbon, Madagascar vanilla, which is beautiful, uh, sandalwood, amorous, musk and benzoin. Okay, let's go over to Sephora. 
I mean, we've got a lot to talk about anyway. We don't need to talk about every single item. Just the exciting ones. Oh, we've got some exciting things from Sephora. Clinique has a new take off the day cleansing balm with charcoal in it. So I think it's maybe more appropriate for oilier skin, which is interesting. I would be keen to try it because I really like the original. It's very good. This is what I'm keen to try is um, the new Mario Makeup by Mario. I've not tried anything from Makeup by Mario. I've always wanted to try the cream and blush sticks. Uh, but they're always sold out, so I've just never gotten them. But this is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfect I've heard. This isn't great, but the other one, where is it, is what I want to try. The Transforming Skin Enhancer, which is kind of like a bronzer, but very natural. $50. I want to try that. But it looks like the lighter shade's already sold out. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not in a rush. I should be in a rush. It's my job to be in a rush get these things for review <laughs> isn't it nothing else interests me to talk about oh actually this new brand well it's not a new brand but it's new to sephora flavado and albedo is that how you pronounce it it's an australian brand i believe cruelty free vegan and sustainable brand um they are now at sephora which is pretty cool i'm pretty uh, interested to see these forever makeup rounds $21 they're reusable but they come in a little case um, how many do you get and there's one that's rough and one that's soft super soft scent bamboo cotton um, I'm interested in that and then I'm also I do want to try this brand let me know because I'm pretty certain they're Australian if you're interested in me to try this brand it's not cheap though so I probably would wait for a sale they've got velvet eyeshadows uh, high glow illuminator and dew tint cream blush I would love to try that three shades in that the Natasha Denona pastel plexi glow highlighter I didn't pick this up because I yes I think it looks beautiful but realistically I don't see myself wearing it on a daily basis oh that really pretty tart palette that came out at Christmas was it or oh, ages ago is now here in our Sephora the man eater after dark eyeshadow palette $88 it looks really nice but I just don't need the mega palette this looks cute tart is is bringing bringing some stuff out shape tape glow bar palette $71 and then this Maneater mini version for $42. Gosh, you'd get the big one. Jeez, that's a difference in prices, like value. And that's it from Sephora. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick squeeze through a door. I'm sorry, what is this? Lancome Idol Nectar. That bottle? Stop it. That is the most beautiful bottle I've ever seen. Is it actually a new fragrance? I don't know much about Lancome fragrance. Oh, it's beautiful. God, I just want it for the bottle. Jeez Louise. Let's read it. Nectar, it's gonna be like fruity maybe. Amber vanilla fragrance takes the clean luminous feel of original fragrance and adds a surprising gourmand twist. It's youthful and feminine with a versatile feel that works from daytime to dinner to nighttime. So it's got three kinds of rose. Popcorn, caramel, and bourbon vanilla. Oh, it's not what I thought. Bourbon vanilla aged for 18 months. Oh, I do want to smell that. <gasps> I wonder if I could guess, smell that in like a David Jones or something. Oh, lovely. Oh, they've got the Dior Cushion Foundations at Adore Beauty. That's the good thing about Adore Beauty. They are, they're really catching on to products that you can't get anywhere else. I'm sorry, what is this? Adore Beauty Sense of Australia Fragrance Set. What is that? Oh, I want to smell this. It's got, um, who is Elijah? And that's a brand I really want to try. It's valued at $184 for $90 stop it who is elijah perfume and then we've got the goldfield and banks which i have but this is the silky woods perfume we have recreation beauty i don't know that one at night we dance and then glass house oh i've already got a daha affair i've already got own that that is so cool but i don't need one oh, one of them i do not need oh but if you are interested, and they're all Australian, I love that. Okay, Glam Raider. The same Minnie Mouse collection with Revolution is also at, but there's even more at Glam Raider. 
Trixie Cosmetic Nighttime Realness Bundle for $64. That's where you can get all your Trixie Cosmetic need. Oh, Mermaid Hair has released a Heatless Curls Kit. It is $50, but it's got that cute thing that you wrap your hair around. Oh, I'd be interested in that, but I'm sure I could find one cheaper. If you know where I can get this product, it looks like a, like a door snake, <laughs> but it's for your hair. Let me know where I can get one because I would be interested in doing that because I put my hair in a plait and it gives me mermaid hair. I actually use the mermaid hair tool for this, the Aldi version. Um, but I would like to do that because I can see myself sleeping in that and being okay. All right, that's it. And then let's go over to trend mood. Now I haven't been on trend mood for a while, so give me a second. I need to see where we're at. Before I go any further, I just saw RMS. Liquid lip lights. You know, I, I just want to be a representative for RMS because I just think they're the best brand ever. And it is such a slept on brand. They have the such great quality products. Wear it alone or over lipstick. I'm guessing it's like a tinted lip balm situation. <sighs> I'll be getting that. I'm sorry, I'm just a diehard for RMS and anything they do, I will get. <laughs> anything they do, I will get. Because last year, Everything they did was amazing and I like their older older stuff. I wouldn't say everything is amazing, but Everything they bring out. Oh, we're windy Everything they bring out has been 10 out of 10 in my opinion I know Spring 2023 Wild Meadows 25th anniversary collection Shantakai you see the packaging you know it's Shantakai. I want everything <laughs> The blushes are stunning. The eyeshadow palette, the smith. And the lipsticks, all of them. Thank you. That's like what? One, two. That's like three, six products. That's probably be like $500 worth of product right there. <laughs> Honestly. Isn't that crazy? Elf. New lip lacquer shades. Um, I love the lip gloss that I have. It is a lip lacquer. I think it's called Love Bite and it's brown shimmery. Oh, love it, but like a sheer brown. These are new colors. Orange Blossom, Cherry Bomb, Whisper Pink, Black Cherry. I even like that black cherry. Oh, love it. Uh, yes, the Charlotte Tilbury matte blushes. Did we all forget the pot matte blushes that she bought out that were a total fail? Remember? Oh no, those were the eyes. Or oh, was it the cheeks as well? Remember the eyes? Maybe it was eyes. Anyway, we're bringing out matte beauty blush one liquid blushes. Everyone's frothing for these. I don't know. I've got my uh, Made by Mitchell matte blushes, which I love. So I probably would skip these, but you know, never say never, you know me. I'm like, no, I wouldn't. And then I go and buy it. Tom Ford. I spoke about this on my Instagram. Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke. The, uh, Original cherry, what's it called? Hmm. The original cherry. My mind is scattered today. Like I can't even, I was trying to talk to my mom and I was just like scattered words in a sentence. Um, but these are extensions of the existing lost cherry. There it is. So cherry smoke is warm woody spices and then electric cherry is fruity floral. I think I'll be an electric cherry gal, but I do love a smoky. I want to smell both. I want to smell both, uh, but they're not in Australia, but I do anticipate them to come to Mecca. I swear the moment they come into Mecca, I am running to the George Street store because Tom Ford, all of Tom Ford is at George Street. It's also at Broadway. Anyway, I'll be running to the nearest Tom Ford supplier to smell these. Colourpop has brought out their beautiful heart blushes again for Valentine's Day. Want them all, don't need them, but want them all. What's this still are doing? The blur collection. I'd be down for that. I'd be down for some blurring. What's this uh, blurring and smoothing primer? I would like to try that out of all of them. Natasha Denona. Oh, I love a slim line lipstick. These are for Valentine's Day. I need a rouge lip style stiletto, 27 American dollars. Um, one stroke pro precision lipstick in two shades, Amelia and Gigi. Here is Pat McGrath Love Collection. 
That's a pass for me. That's a hard pass for me. The, the Tarte, oh, we've got lots of things. The Tarte blush tape. I've said it before, Tarte doesn't tickle me like other brands do. Like, but it does look cute. Oh, uh, look at this Sephora collection. What is this called? Face powders. Oh, it's now available in Europe. I wonder if it comes to Australia. Colorful luminizer face illuminating powders in four colors, four shades. Colorful blush powder blush in two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven shades. Shame on you is what I'm actually wearing today, but it's matte. So these must be shimmery versions of their existing is my guess. Because this all looks very shimmery. I love a pink highlighter and that pink one is pink flash number three is speaking to me and I do love Sephora collection makeup that is actually a brand I want to do a full face on if you're interested in me doing a full face of Sephora collection please let me know down below please 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 because I will do it if there's a demand oh Cossus yes this will definitely come to Mecca because we get all Cossus but it's a matter of when this is the um Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Illuminating Enhancer. Definitely would like to try this. How many shades are there? 10 shades. I would, I don't think I'd go for the lighter shade because when it's something like this, I like to have a little bit of peachiness. I'd probably go for even Radiate, the fourth shade. Mmm, interesting. I think that'd be pretty. I do love Cossus. I do. The Natasha Denona Love, what are they calling it? Love Face Palette. This is, I saw Morgan Turner review this. It's a pass for me. I just don't think it's something that I need. I love the Glam Face Palette. That's more my, up my alley. Oh, KVD. This is an addition to the Good Apple Family, the Good Apple Serum Foundation Full Coverage Transfer Proof. Uh, I'll probably give it a pass. I was never interested in the the original Good Apple because I feel like it's too cream foundations are too thick for me. Oh, Bobbi Brown, this is brand new. When was this? Five hours ago. Bobbi Brown blushes. Oh, these are pretty. <sighs> blushed coral, blushed pink, blushed pink. Oh, blushed peach. Sorry, blushed bronze and blushed burgundy. So there is a light bronzy one which we can see in the top right corner. Oh, these are pretty. Beauty Bay has a new eyeshadow palette. It's a video, so bear with me. It uh, is called the Retro Love Eyeshadow Palette. You know, shimmers are amazing, but I will definitely not get that. It's too colorful for me. That is everything. That's everything, guys. We have a lot to discuss. This is probably going to be a long video. But uh, I think we've got some pretty solid products that I'm very excited for. I think I'm most excited for fragrance. I didn't see a lot of skincare that sparked my interest. But fragrance is hot off the press on a date from Replica um, and the Vanilla Milk from Ellis Brooklyn are the two that I'm interested in smelling. Oh, and that Nectar one from Lancome. I need to go try and investigate where I can smell that. Uh, that's everything, guys. Let me know down below your favorite products that were discussed today and if you're going to pick them up or if you're just going to add it to your cart and never check out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.